Autonomy is an interesting uh, topic, and if we if we think about that for a, a minute, it, we we talked about gamification and and the, you know new generations, people that are digital natives, and so on. If we just look at how behavior has changed over the last say ten years with social media and online games and and so on and so on, people are dosing themselves anyway with little bits of fun and distraction throughout the workday, mm -hmm. right? So you you were never really getting eight hours of, of solid work, right? Because you've got, you gotta go smoke with somebody, you have coffee here, you're looking at a Facebook post, you're answering a text, and so on and so on. If people are doing this on their own time in their own environment, they not only save the commute time and all of the distractions, but they're able to dose themselves you know, in a way that it enhances their own motivation mm -hmm. and maybe even their own self-control. So if I'm in an environment where nobody's focusing me on the tasks and the and the outcome that I have to create, mm -hmm. then I have to become more disciplined at creating that outcome on my own. Yep. So I can create certain rules about how I manage my, my behavior and say, okay, of course I'm going to spend 10 minutes and look at this and laugh at that and so on and write some friends and, mm -hmm. and socialize, but then I'm going to spend 50 minutes getting stuff done. And if it's in my own environment, it doesn't really matter if it happened 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. or if I worked at you know from 10 o'clock at night to 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. As long as the result and the responsibility for to provide the result for the team is fulfilled. And that's what we're talking about by being mission focused rather than control focused. Exactly. I think a lot of management's dedicated around making you more efficient. Stop talking. Make sure you're focused on that. Where were you? Now it has to be. The leader can't control everything. We know that generally. Yeah. But you have an illusion of that when you have people in an office. Now you don't have people in an office, you, that level of control is going to be exposed for the illusion that it actually is. So what can a leader actually do? And that's why I would say you need to be setting this mission. It needs to be more abstract. It needs to be that's where we need to be in X amount of time. And that's, those cycles now should be weeks, not months. Yep. You can't try and say no five-year plans, no one-year budgets. It's going to be what do Wait we do? Wait a minute, no roadmap? No roadmap. No, no financial model? <laughs> no, unfortunately. <laughs> you're going to need to just set a target, and then you're going to need to allow people to find their way. What's going to surprise you is that people, if they have a clear direction, they will start to discover that. Because there is a collective mentality in many organizations that say, we are in this together. We do now need to discover this. So what kind of direction should leaders be setting? It needs to be quite ambiguous. It needs to be just the next step. So... I mentioned earlier, Deng Xiaoping spoke about crossing mm -hmm. the river by feeling yep. the stones. Yep. Find the next stone. When you have that next stone, then the stones in front of you or the gaps in front of you will become clearer. You cannot turn around and say, we have a plan, this is where we're going to be. You need to act quickly. You can't wait. You just need to move to that next stone and then you may be surprised, especially in countries like this, where you have really highly educated people who just do not communicate very well inside an organization. They're going to have to start communicating. Mm -hmm. They're going to start finding things that are going to surprise you. So I think the leader's role is about being able to enable this to happen, mm -hmm. not creating rules, but creating rules of thumb by saying mm -hmm. we don't do this mm -hmm. or we do certain things. That's something is focus on the mission. Mm -hmm. The things we don't do is come into the office and infect everybody, for yeah. example. Yeah. Create that mission, that starts to get you moving forward. From there, you've got another step. You can see what the horizon becomes next. Mm -hmm. But it's going to have to be a case of, yeah, stepping stones rather than trying to build bridges.